Ang kutso. Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And for uh, this afternoon, as the UT Council Sawan is busy, he will be replaced by another UT Council, Mr. Mom Soutia. Remplacé par uh, Maître Mom Soutia, car il a d'autres engagements. President, Mr. Pichim, the Chamber. Le President, Mr. Pichim. Thank you for answering the questions la put to you by the, the parties and the bench. Répondu aux questions posées par les parties. Do you have tried to respond to the questions vous vous uh, so far? And I have some questions that I'd like to get clarification from you. This morning, before the uh, break time, Avant la pause, you said Tram uh, Ko. District vous avez parlé du district was de named as a model district in the Red Flag magazine. It was one of the three districts which were district the model districts during the Democratic Cambodia regime. District model Can you tell the court as on what criteria Tramco district was awarded as a model district, district during Tramcoc the Democratic Cambodia regime? Vu déclaré district model sous le Cambodia démocratique. Witness. Good afternoon, Mr. President and Your Honours. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Madame et Messieurs les juges. I'd like to give you the reasons that led to Tramcock District being awarded as a model district. Je vais vous dire pour quelles raisons le district de Tramcock s'est vu déclaré district model. In that particular sector. Non, ce secteur. There are several reasons. However, I would like to mention the three main reasons. Cela, mais me sur As trois follows. Principales raisons. One is the good Tout gathering of force. Il y avait eu une bonne réunion de force, une bonne compilation de force. And as Dans ce district, it lent itself to the force of the revolution in terms of the popular force de la and the force in the army, les forces de l'armée, as well as uh, that in the rank of the uh, cadres. Les forces constituées par les cadres également. The second reason, deuxième raison, is that the majority of the population in the district is either at the middle class level or at the lower class level, and they were loyal to the revolution. And that was one of the main uh, reasons. And the third reason voilà pour la raison is à la the raison, economic factor. Une it was one of the uh, poor, poor districts as district the uh, land was not uh, that rich. But despite that, the si production was better than other districts, cela, and that's a thanks to the effort of the people living in uh, the district as well as that district, of the uh, cadres. Ainsi que grâce we could uh, harvest uh, twice, that is in terms of the rice production, and Nous we also yield to the uh, 
cassava production. Et nous avions un bon rendement de production we dans la production du manioc. Nous pouvons uh, subvenir through, uh, à nos besoins alimentaires et nous pouvons distribuer and these ces productions dans three différentes main régions du pays. The voilà award. les trois principales raisons President, pour lesquelles le district s'est fait décerner Petum. cette récompense. Le Président, merci beaucoup, M. Pekchim. Et... In the entire Tramco district, what was the principle of food distribution? De Tramco, qu'en était-il de la distribution equal through all the cooperatives within the district, or it was based on the rice yield in each cooperative or commune? Le rendement de chaque commune, le rendement pour ce qui est de la production de riz. Answer. The principle of a rice distribution was the same. That is, three cans of rice. And each can was meant for three people. And after the entire can was meant for three people. And after the entire can was liberated. Each can was for six people. And that applies to both the people who had lived in the liberated zone as well as those who had been liberated from the Lonol side. Question. After the establishment of the cooperative and after the district received the award, based on the three Et main reasons, as you mentioned, le du prix that is, it was a district with the, where the land was not uh, that rich, but the production si was more than the other districts. What's going to happen to the uh, food distribution? Was it the same that is that the food distribution was equal to all cooperatives and communes within the Tramcock district? Dans toutes les coopératives du district de Tramcock. Answer: The food ration was the same. Réponse: Les rations alimentaires étaient les mêmes. We review the the rice that we had. For Nous each commune, and if they require a bit further, a bit more, then we would commune, uh, provide a bit more to the needed si commune, and it applied across de all the communes within the district. Cela valait pour toutes les communes du district. And of course, uh, for the commune with the surplus uh, rice uh, produce, we would take it to the district and distribute it uh, to the uh, commune that needed the, the rice. So we had a figure Donc, at a district level as to which commune produced the, surf the surplus and which commune district, needed the more rice. Quelle commune produisait le plus de riz et quelle commune en avait le plus besoin? Question. You just mentioned that the food uh, ration was equal across the uh, Tramcock district. My question to you is the Tramcock. following. Who or which body qui? had the authority to make that decision that is to provide de an equal food ration to everyone tout le monde. within the communes across the Tramcock district. Au sein de toutes les communes du district de Tramcock. Answer. In fact, the decision arrived from Réponse. the discussion by the district committee, and then we sought approval from the sector level. So we discussed among the district committee based on the practical needs and with the uh, advice from the uh, sector, we proceeded with uh, that distribution. President, uh, thank you.
Le Président, merci. In your response to the question that put to you by the lead co-lawyer, co you mentioned that uh, there were 25,000 hectares of farmed land and that each hectare produced three tons per hectare and that in some areas you could uh, harvest twice. Am I correct in summing up this statement? That is your response to the Litco lawyer question this morning. Answer, yes, that is correct. Question. And based on that response, in the early phase of the harvest season, People were given cooked rice, and later on, uh, they were supplemented with the potato. And further on, it was people were given gruel, and you said it was a thick gruel. But uh, some other witnesses said the gruel was rather watery at the time. And my question to you, if your statement is correct, that is you had 25,000 hectares of farmland si and that you produced three tons of rice si per hectare and that the district hectare, was a, awarded as a si model district. district. Why the food ration change from si better to worse? That is from cooked rice to cooked rice with potato and later to gruel? What was the uh, reason for this migration? Answer. The, the rice produce and the lands that I mentioned uh, was uh, for what we uh, reported in 1976. Cela concerne l'année 76. That is all, Mr. President. Question. C'est tout, Monsieur le Président. Does it mean that in Question. 1976, all the people dire, in a Trump Court district were given district cooked Trump rice for the whole year? Du riz cuit, et ce, pour uh, toute l'année, tout au long de l'année. Answer. Uh, people were given cooked rice starting from 1976, then 77, and so on. And if uh, some communes uh, did not have enough rice, then the commune itself had to find uh, supplementary food for the people. But uh, in general, people were given cooked rice to eat to their field. Question based on your experience as you uh, were at one point an interim district secretary as well as a member of the district committee. Was there any uh, surplus of rice of produce at any year during the regime and that it was sent to the center? Answer, yes, there was. Réponse, oui, effectivement. But I cannot recall uh, as to the number of the uh, rice uh, produced that was sent to the center. Mais je, je ne me souviens pas très bien Usually, si we uh, sent them hashed rice. En général, on In fact, des we provided not only to the center, but to other sectors who sought their help from us. And usually we would uh, send them a truckload, a two truckload of uh, the rice a surplus to them. De riz. So we will distribute and share with them whatever we had donc, in the surplus. Question. I put that question to you because uh, several witnesses and civil parties alleged that the food was not sufficient. 
qu'ils ne mangeaient pas and à for that reason faim, they resorted to stealing food donc voler and not only the adults who stole food but the children also stole food subsequently the they were arrested and tortured suite, and we want uh, to have a clarification on this issue question what reason do you have uh, to show to the chamber that from 1976, people in your district were given cooked rice to eat to their field. The population of your district has received rice cooked. Answer. For to nourish. When I talked about cooked rice, I I refer to. Gruel, thick gruel, and they could eat to their fill. And before that, yes, sometimes the rice was not sufficient. However, since the harvest in 1976, then the food was given. Enough food was given to the people in 1977. And I would say the food uh, ration given to the people there uh, was uh, reasonable enough. And there would be a day in each month special food was prepared for the people. Un jour par mois, and that happened in every cooperative. It means they prepare dessert for the people to eat. Dessert. There and there were all kinds of cakes, cooked rice, kmai, and noodles, etc. And usually, it was the new people who ate more. And in general, it was the people who ate more. And so some of them could eat even ten bowls of rice, and some of them. Uh, collapse when, uh, when they uh, return to their sleeping quarter from overeating. Then the person uh, was helped, and uh, that person became uh, conscious. President, uh, thank you, and I have uh, two more questions uh, to you. Le président, merci. J'aimerais vous poser deux autres questions. One question is related to document E3-401. And another is E319.1.18. And the section that I wish to bring to your attention has been highlighted on the half copy. And you will be given this document by the court officer. I'd like to ask you a question in relation to document E3 slash 401. I'll start with document E3 slash 401. That is a statement of interview. Il s'agit d'un procès verbal d'audition. In Khmer is 00373478. In English, it's zero zero three eight one two eight. So it's the president, and I don't have the document in the French language. And Mr. Pichem, please refer to the highlighted section of that document. And a sticky note is also stuck on that paper, and it should be the last page of that document. In that uh, interview, you uh, state that the MOC gave instructions in a meeting that uh, pe people should not be killed. Il aurait dit qu'il ne fallait pas tuer ou exécuter les gens. Can you find that uh, highlighted part of the uh, document that is your previous interview? Ce document entend lors de vos procès verbaux d'audition. Witness, yes, I see it. Le témoin, oui, oui, j'ai retrouvé ce passage. 
Le I will ask bien, some merci. questions to you in relation to this. Can you recall as to when Tamok gave that instruction? Quel moment Tamok a donné cette consigne? Answer: I cannot recall it. Réponse: Je ne m'en souviens pas. Question: When you were a man, was it? During the time that you were a member of the Question. Tramcor committee, or du during the time Tramcor, that you were an interim secretary of that district? De ce district? Answer. I cannot recall the year that Réponse. he gave that instruction. However, it was at the time that I was a member of the district committee. And sometimes he told his uh, daughter uh, about uh, that matter. So uh, at one time he gathered us and gave the instructions on the various topics, including uh, this sujets, very topic on not to kill. President, uh, thank you. And can you tell the chamber uh, what had happened in Tramco district that led uh, Tamok to give such instruction to the district committee? And uh, allow me to give you an example. Réponse. Immediately un after 1970, and here I refer to 1972, whoever uh, joined the enemy would later on uh, disappear. Ceux qui rejoignaient les ennemis disparaissaient. People were recruited and then Des one person will be appointed to control those recruits within the district. Pour le au sein du district. But uh, the subordinates did not uh, president interrupt. Le the chamber does not uh, wish to hear uh, about the events that happened prior to 1975. Can you uh, state the same thing or similar thing? As to what happened after 17 April 1975? Answer. Yes, after 1975, he came and he convened a meeting and he gave uh, similar instructions to that effect. Questioned. And what did you observe? as to what had happened that led to the Mok giving such instructions. Answer. Through my observation, Réponse. yes, it happened. D'après mes observations, cela a bien eu lieu. Things happened and it impacted the lives of the uh, people living in the district, and in, fa in fact, uh, it was the uh, conflict uh, between soldiers and uh, soldiers. Although they used to knew to know one another uh, previously or when they were young. However, after the conflict, those soldiers had been arrested as we, the district level, did not have the authority to make uh, the arrest of uh, soldiers. For that reason, he came to make that announcement. And in fact, those people were the uh, relatives of uh, Tamok. Questioned, what did he mean when he uh, said that people should not uh, be killed without uh, thinking? Answer. It could uh, mean he referred to the revenge between those people. 
and there was no intervention and Niev at the commune level did not uh, intervene as well. President, uh, thank you. As the time is running out, I now move on to another document that is your another interview, document E319.1.18 in the Khmer language, the IAN ending with a zero 08, and the English language is ends with IAN 8-9. In the, that document, you state that you received a letter of instruction from Phnom Penh in uh, August 1978 to stop the killing. And that letter was issued to all zones. And it was a general instruction to given to all zones. Can you find that highlighted portion on the document? Witness, yes, I located. President, thank you. Is that a statement correct? That is uh, when you provided your statement to the investigator of the office of the co-investigating judges? Ce que vous avez dit aux inquêteurs des juges d'instruction est-il exact? Answer, yes, that statement is correct. Réponse, oui, cette déclaration est exacte. President, then this is my last question. How did uh, you receive that instruction? De quelle façon When and reçu where did you receive it? Où et comment l'avez-vous reçu? Answer. Réponse. I received that uh, order or instruction from Mr. Kai Pok at the uh, central zone. Monsieur Kai Pok de la zone centrale. Question. And when did you Question. receive that uh, instruction? Et quand cette instruction vous a-t-elle été donnée? President, uh, Mr. Petchen, please respond to my last question Monsieur as Petchen, to when you received that instruction. Dites-nous quand cette instruction vous a été donnée. Answer. It happened Réponse. in August uh, 1978, en but I cannot recall the, the, the day that I received it. Précise. President, thank you, Mr. Witness. I do not have any further question for you. And the chamber now will hand the floor to the defense teams. And first, to Nunchi Defense, to put questions to this witness. Do you have the floor? Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Your Honours, Council, good afternoon, Mr. Pekchin. Um, my name is Victor Coppa. I am the international uh, co-lawyer for New and Chia, and I have some questions to ask to you. Um, let me start with following up um, some questions uh, asked by the President uh, just now. And that is a question in relation to uh, the food situation in, in Tramcock. Um, do you know whether there was um, any policy or any implementation of a policy in the communes uh, to make a distinction uh, in terms of food ration between uh, 17 April people and base people.
distribution The food ration was the same for everyone. The district would set the instruction to the commune, and the commune would implement that uh, instruction. And in principle, it means that uh, one can of rice was for three uh, people. However, in uh, Reality, some, faits, some people could not uh, eat to their fill, and as a result, we decided to have a special day each month so that they could whatever they wanted uh, to their fill. Pour que les gens mangent autant and that applied le all across the, the district. C'était commun, ou cela s'appliquait dans tout le district. And uh, in some instances, uh, in some cooperative, Parfois, dans it might happen that uh, one can arise of us for two best of people, que while une one can arise was determined for three new people. Il était prévu and I admit that, that we did not control everything Et and learned about that. Dois dire que cela pas As the that happened sujet, in certain cooperatives uh, within the district. Au sein du district. So let me clarify: in uh, certain in certain cooperatives, uh, there was a shortcoming where best people were allowed to uh, eat one can of rice for two people, while the, the same amount of rice that is one can was for three new people. But what you're describing are these um, incidents things that happened sometimes and were in principle against the policy, the policy being that everybody should have the same food ration. Yes, it was uh, against the policy. Réponse, oui, cela allait à l'encontre de la politique. Uh, it was not in line with the policy. We cela made our level best to uh, be in line with the policy, but uh, we could not. Nous voulions que la base soit alignée sur la politique, mais cela n'était pas possible. Um, Une question. You lived in Tramcock District, Vous um, dans le district de I believe, or Takiyo province also before 1970, province before you joined the revolution. Avant 1970, avant le Are you able to make a comparison with um, the food situation of people uh, before the establishment of cooperatives and after the establishment of cooperatives. In other words, did the food situation get better because of the cooperatives? The food situation Réponse. before uh, the establishment of cooperative, uh, they had their private uh, food. Uh, in other words, they would uh, be on their own, so there was enough food. And that was it. And and after the. Uh, we established the cooperative, Après we had to discuss what we had to uh, eat in the cooperative. De ce qui être, ce qui être Would you be able to, to mark a point in time 
between 1975 and 1979. Before 1975, the food issue was resolved by individual family. They produced rice, and then if there was a surplus, sometimes there was surplus in uh, rice uh, production in each family. But when we uh, came together, uh, the rice would be put together collectively. Uh, we actually had uh, rice, but there were certain areas when uh, certain places when we did not have uh, enough food. Uh, but there were in other places where the food was uh, adequate. And when, whenever there was a shortage of food, uh, they had to uh, do uh, farming, they had to uh, try to produce uh, more rice in order to be uh, sufficient. Um, if somebody Let's say 1975, 1976 was caught stealing uh, cassave uh, or other fruits which belong to the collective. Um, what would happen to this person? Was it considered a light offense uh, or was it considered a serious offense? At uh, the time, those who were caught of stealing cassava, uh, they were considered committing light offense. And if somebody had committed such a light uh, offense, um, what would usually happen to this person? On that uh, case, we only um, reprimanded uh, that person and they asked them to come for uh, advice. Uh, they, didn't, they were not admitted to any school for re-education, but uh, we only uh, asked them to come and we provided uh, advice uh, to them in order to avoid uh, that. And we asked them not to be um, frightened ce type de situation et pour éviter qu'il n'ait peur. Uh, we only advised them to the effect that uh, it was not uh, a Nous good conduct, it was not a good behavior, and they had to uh, correct uh, themselves. Uh, that was it, and uh, we had to uh, advise them. That was it. Les conseillers. Um, would you be able to tell Question. after how many times stealing and then being caught stealing, uh, somebody would uh, finally be sent somewhere for re-education after how many times somebody had to steal something in order to be able, uh, or in order to be re-educated. To my recollection, never had we ever sent uh, those uh, people uh, out uh, for re-education. Uh, in the cases of uh, stealing such a small thing. Do you know of any instances um, in which somebody um, was executed, killed uh, for stealing uh, 
things like cassava or other fruits. Quelqu'un aurait été exécuté pour avoir volé un fruit ou du manioc. No, I never knew of such an instance. I had never encountered such an uh, instance of execution of uh, those who were found uh, stealing uh, such a small thing. In terms of comparison, uh, comparing, did, did, did this ever happen, for instance, in the central zone at, at the rubber plantation when somebody was caught stealing? Uh, did this person get executed for this? en train de voler quelque chose et est-ce qu'elle a par la suite été exécutée à cause de cela I, I never saw it. Réponse, je n'en ai jamais été témoin. Uh, do you know whether Question. the policy that you described in relation to uh, minor offenses um, would be or was the same in, uh, in other districts of sector 13 uh, and in other sectors in the southwest zone? Um, in my understanding, uh, it would be uh, different because at our place, uh, the approach in our leadership was to um, facilitate, coordinate uh, the situation, but it varied uh, from one zone to another. And as for the sanction, uh, it also varied uh, from one place uh, to another. As for the minor offenses, for example, stealing or drinking, uh, it was not uh, as serious as the uh, criminal offenses or the killing, but it varies actually from one uh, zone to another. Uh, my, my last question in relation uh, to food. Um, would you be able to tell us something about uh, whether the, the goal of three tons um, uh, per hectare, rice per hectare, si whether that was a realistic goal, whether that was in fact uh, a goal that could be realistically achieved. S'agissait-il d'un objectif que l'on pouvait atteindre tout en restant réaliste? Carno. At the time, the decision uh, did not come from me. It came from the sector and the MOC. Uh, among all the participants in the meeting, I uh, actually raised an idea that uh, we could not meet this uh, target. Probably 2.5 would be realistic. Uh, but they said, well, uh, let's uh, try to achieve three, hectare, uh, three tons per hectare, and that we should include, uh, we should count in the uh, cassava produced as well. And what would be the consequences if uh, within a district uh, goal wasn't achieved, would there be serious consequences for the people who were responsible uh, for this, or, or not, at, not at all? No consequence whatsoever uh, for the responsible person or for the district. Uh, so uh, we uh, tried our best and then we increased uh, the uh, frequency of uh, transplanting uh, the rice uh, two times uh, per year. So the shortcoming, uh, it was the experience generally. Um, it uh, took uh, three to five de months uh, to harvest uh, rice. À cinq mois pour récolter du riz. Would it then be fair to say that um, in dire your district and maybe in other districts, dans votre district um, et dans districts the people were not forced to work extra hard 
just only to achieve this uh, three tons per hectare. Is that correct? Cet objectif de trois tonnes par hectare. That's exact. That was not correct. Ce n'était pas exact. Maybe something went wrong in the translations. You, you agree with me? Is that, is that how I understand your, your answer? Dans la traduction, est-ce que vous êtes d'accord? Ai-je bien interprété votre réponse? Um, the President, um, Council, uh, please uh, put your question again to the witness because uh, the, uh, it appears that the witness uh, does not uh, catch your question very well. Yes, it's because of the double uh, negative. Um, Mr. Um, Bechim, do you agree with me that in your district it didn't happen? that people were forced to work extra hard Il just uh, de to achieve this uh, three tons per hectare. Cet de tonnes par hectare. Yes, I do agree with you. Réponse, oui, je suis avec vous. Um, now I would like to move to another topic, Maître and that is education. Uh, sujet, I understand that you yourself, before vous, you joined the Maquis, uh, had Maquis, been a teacher in Takeo province. Is that correct? Dans la province de Takeo, est exact? Oh. That's correct. Réponse, est exact. Would you be able to tell us how long Question, you have worked vous dire de temps uh, vous avez as a teacher? En tant que From 59 to 70, it was during this period, around 11 years. Um, what can you tell us about um, the goals of the CPK and the goals of Democratic Kampuchea in terms of education? Um, what was Democratic Kampuchea is set to achieve in terms of education. Could you tell us in general terms um, en what the goals were? It was uh, very long, but uh, the ultimate goal was to uh, be uh, developed, uh, to turn Cambodia to become a developed country like other countries around the world. I'll be more concrete. Was it the intention within your district to, uh, district, after the liberation, uh, to have schools to educate children, to have des primary schools, secondary schools, etc.? Yes, that was. The purpose was uh, to organize in a uh, respective district, not only within the district, but within the province. And the overall idea is that across the country, uh, there were primary school, secondary school, and even tertiary education in order to develop our country. To become a developed and prosperous country. That was the ultimate uh, purpose uh, that we all desired. And could you um, make a comparison um, as to how the education system worked in uh, 1975, 1976, 1977 in Tram district uh, as opposed to uh, how the education system was before the civil war au système éducatif d'avant la guerre civile the 
ุปานอับรมรู้สกทำก็ The education system in Tramkok district. Le système d'éducation. In 1971-1972, all the way to 1975. In comparison with the time uh, preceding that, uh, before there were a lot of schools springing up in the country, but later on there was no school because it was during the war time. We could not construct a school, so uh, we only recruited uh, teachers to teach uh, children. Uh, we only had uh, teachers teaching children in the village. Uh, that was the situation at the, that time. It was due to the uh, circumstance at the time. And after 17 April 75, uh, what did the district, what did district 105 do in terms of building schools? In terms of the construction of schools? At that time, uh, they constructed small uh, huts. Uh, there was no uh, uh, formal school uh, structure. We only assembled some tables and put in the hut uh, in the village in the villages. And in certain villages, there were no uh, more such class, and in others, there were. Ce type de structure, tandis que dans d'autres, il existait ce Was type de priority, structure. Uh, Est-ce que vous avez une priorité schools? dans votre district que de construire des écoles I do not uh, understand the word priority. Réponse, je n'ai pas compris le, mode, le mot priorité. You said uh, the school was the priority, and I, I do not understand what you mean by priority. What, was it uh, an ambition of Question. your district to build as Votre many schools as possible? l'ambition de construire autant d'écoles que possible? It was not an ambition, but it was our priority. It was our good intention. It was a good intention of our people, of our parents, of, of our nation. You mean population? Uh, that was the only uh, way uh, that uh, our country could uh, develop without school. Uh, everything would be dark. Um, th thank you, Mr. Pek Chim. Now another subject that is um, the subject of, of health care. Um, what can you tell us about policy within your district uh, in relation to Access to medicine, access to hospital. En matière d'accès aux médicaments et aux hôpitaux. Concrètement, existe-t-il une différence entre le traitement qui est réservé aux peuples de base et le traitement qui est réservé aux peuples du 17 avril lorsque ceux-ci se rendaient à l'hôpital ou avaient besoin d'avoir accès aux médicaments Existe-t-il une différence entre les deux In my view, it was uh, divided uh, and it was supplied with this uh, service uh, equally. But in, our, in my personal analysis, uh, it would not be exactly uh, equal. Uh, there would be uh, uh, different from one place to another. Uh, for uh, medicine, uh, it was uh, sufficient. We did not actually accept the medical supply from uh, international aid. L'approvisionnement en médicaments venu de l'aide internationale. At that time, we did not accept the uh, foreign uh, aid, and we did not accept the uh, medical supply uh, from international aid uh, because it was at the time we uh, they implemented the uh, grape lead forward. Puisque c'était l'époque où l'on mettait en œuvre le grand bond en avant. 
I might have a question on a follow-up question on that. But my my first question was: sujet, Do you know um, if si. a new person would get sick, seriously sick, he would be admitted to the hospital, malade, and it didn't matter if he was uh, a new person or a base person? Is that correct? Qu'elle euh, fasse partie du peuple de base ou du peuple nouveau indifféremment. Est-ce exact There wasn't uh, any. There were only those who were uh, sick. Uh, they would be admitted to hospital, and we went uh, to the hospital to uh, visit them and to encourage them, and particularly to uh, provide them with enough uh, food to eat. And if they uh, uh, lack of food, uh, they would uh, have to request uh, to the village or commune nearby uh, to supply to the hospital because the district has already uh, issued that decision. So we had uh, to uh, try uh, to provide uh, that service to the people, but the shortcoming uh, was inevitable. Would you agree with me that in, in, um, in your district, um, in terms of food, medicine, district, education, there was no discrimination against 17 April people? Il n'y avait pas de discrimination appliquée à l'encontre des gens du 17 avril. I do agree with you. Réponse. Je suis d'accord avec vous. Um, Thank you, uh, Mr. Pekchim. I would like to turn to uh, another topic, if that's all right with you. Si vous en êtes d'accord, um, je serai à présent aborder un autre sujet. Do you know or do you remember whether there was a vous uh, big meeting in May 1975 in Phnom Penh, en mai where all uh, cadres both military and civilian were invited uh, to discuss uh, the way forward. Uh, a big meeting between, I believe, 20 and 24 May 1975 in Phnom Penh. No, I did not attend that meeting. Réponse, non, je n'ai pas participé à cette réunion. Um, it, was a, it was a big meeting where apparently hundreds, maybe réunion, even almost thousand cadres uh, were collected together, convened together um, to discuss the way forward. Do you know maybe whether um, your fellow district committee member, Com, uh, had gone to that meeting in May 1975? I know that uh, the cadres at the district level came to attend the meeting. Réponse, je sais que des cadres du niveau du district ont assisté à cette réunion. And do you remember whether Com, uh, whether she went to that meeting, si and if yes, réunion, do you remember when she came si back, oui, uh, de cette réunion, what she reported to you and the other members of the district committee? Que vous a-t-elle rapporté à vous et aux autres membres du comité du district? Yes. She reported to us about that. Réponse. En effet, elle she nous actually en a parlé. Uh, organized a session elle where she une session uh, explained to us about what she uh, learned and uh, that happened for appris. one morning session. Cette session a duré toute une matinée. I realize it's a long time ago, Mr. Pekchim, but do Notre you copain. remember 
Um, Je sais que cela fait déjà which news bien or which que reports lieu, she brought with her uh, after this meeting in May 1975? What did she tell you and the others? Au sujet de cette réunion en mai 1975, que vous a-t-elle relaté à vous et aux autres? I cannot recall it. It has been a long time. Réponse. Cela fait trop longtemps. Je ne m'en souviens plus. Uh, maybe I can help you uh, a little bit. Do you remember whether she said? to you and the other members that there had been uh, vous a dit discussion and instructions on, for instance, the abolition of money que and the de uh, abolition of markets. Ainsi que des marchés. Yes, uh, I, recall that, uh, oui. I recall about the abolition Je of uh, money and markets. What, what do you remember she reporting on this? Que vous disait-elle à ce sujet? She uh, talked about the closure of a market and that the money was no longer used. That's the only uh, true main things that I can recall. Elle parlait de beaucoup d'autres choses dont je ne peux me souvenir aujourd'hui. Do you recall whether she said anything about Question. um this robbing si elle a parlé du fait que les moines monks? étaient défroqués? Quand il est Yes. She actually oui. spoke about that uh, subject, but I cannot recall asked her whether she was telling us at that time or it was on another si occasion. And uh, each commune implemented uh, that guideline. Chaque commune a mis en œuvre cette directive. Do you remember whether she um, came back and said anything about um, what should happen to people who had been former Lonol government officials or former Lonol soldiers or military? No, I cannot recall it. Réponse. Non, je ne m'en souviens pas. Uh, Mr. Pekchim, do you know somebody who used to be a high-ranking East, Eastern Zone uh, cadre uh, called Heng Samrin? No, I don't. Réponse. Non. Because I was not familiar with the situation in that zone. Je ne connaissais pas la situation dans cette zone. If I just ask you, do you know who, who Heng Samrin is? Puis-je vous demander qui which, était Heng Samrin? Would you be able to tell us? Pourriez-vous nous dire qui c'était, de qui il s'agissait? No, I don't. Réponse non. I don't know anything uh, about that. And if you were to ask me about the Kaipok, I did not si know vous vouliez me poser des questions uh, à propos for de sure uh, what exact position he held or that he poste, uh, 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 laid a division or what. Je sais I, dirige... I am not sure. Une division, mais je ne sais plus très bien laquelle. Um, do you remember, Question. maybe if I can try to refresh your memory, uh, whether Com, when she came back, si Com, um, venu, said something to the effect that 
people who had belonged à to the former Lon Nol regime should be put out of the framework, should be scattered uh, rather than killed. Et écarté plutôt que d'être exécuté. President, uh, witness, please wait. Président, and the deputy co-prosecutor, do you have the floor? Le co-procureur adjoint à la parole. Um, yes, uh, uh, counsel at this time is leading the witness. Uh, I'd have no objection if he wants to use um, Ben Kiernan's research and ask the witness if that refreshes his recollection. That would involve, as he did yesterday, both the three or four people who said that the policy, the instruction was to smash the two, and then the contrary view that he was mentioning. But if he wants to use that evidence, that's fine, but I don't think he should be leading the witness with one, one interpretation. Mais il, faudrait, il ne faudrait pas donner d'interprétation aux témoins. President, the chamber agrees to the observation made by the deputy co-prosecutor that that question was a leading question and witness please do not respond to that question and uh, counsel Copper please rephrase your question and try to avoid any leading questions which are prohibited in the proceedings before this chamber. Devant cette cour. Yes, Mr. President. Um, Maître Gopédien, Monsieur le Président. Peck does the word Monsieur Peck Chim, Comchak mean anything to you? Le terme Comchak veut-il dire quelque chose pour vous? The word uh, Comchak means uh, to take out or enlever. To remove, retirer. That word uh, was used in the uh, party lines, Ce terme était employé dans and les it parties. stands uh, to get rid of uh, personal feeling, to get rid of a personal, personal ambition, and uh, to build a good positive stance in place of the uh, negative ones. And that also referred to uh, the feeling of being capitalist or being official or officials of the previous regime. So we need to get rid of uh, these kinds of classes and build our own stands. And we have to strive our heart, uh, our body, ourselves harder in order to conform with the labor and the person class. And indeed, uh, partly we succeeded in uh, the uh, reform. However, there will be always uh, consequences of uh, actions as a, a matter of uh, cause and effect. The explanation that you just gave about the word Komchat, was that something, was that a policy to be implemented to people Cela who had worked um, for the former Lono regime, to re-educate them, to 
pour savoir les rééduquer. Take them first out of the framework, but then re-educate them and then reintegrate them back into the society. Et de les réinsérer au sein de la société. Yes, that is uh, also correct. Réponse oui, c'est également exact. They had to refashion themselves in order to conform themselves to Il the uh, society pour and to get rid of their personal negatives. From the beginning, they did Il have uh, some negative aspects. Uh, amongst themselves and they had départ, to get rid of that. That was another meaning of that word. Voilà ce que dire ce terme. Uh, uh, Mr. Paxim, was that the policy in District 105 when it comes to the treatment of former Lono uh, officials and um, former Lono military to, to come chat them? L'objectif était-il de les comme Chuck? Yes, uh, that uh, statement you made is La also réponse. correct. Oui, ce que vous venez de dire est exact. It's the word that was used. C'est bien là le terme qu'on employait. And, and very concretely, do you remember com? Or Question. sound et très using vous the word Comchat when it comes to the treatment of former law officials. Comchat pour parler, pour se référer aux euh, anciens fonctionnaires et soldats de l'Olnol. I rarely saw them use uh, that word. Réponse. Je les ai rarement entendu employer ce terme. That is to the, the word come chat uh, for comme this or for that or to use the word come chat for the cela. former Lunol Ou soldiers. À des anciens soldats de Lunol. And as I said, uh, the word was mentioned dit, and used during the study sessions. That is uh, to come chat uh, the the bad people or the things that uh, would not uh, benefit ce qui pas and when it comes to the former Lunol officials or Lunol soldiers only the elements that are not good would be Kamchat, and not the uh, good elements of those uh, officials or former uh, soldiers. And if people did not understand the connotation of that word thoroughly, Dire, they would use générale, it for every context, including on the women. Par exemple, concernant des femmes. And that is similar to what we say that to use a whole bunch of lemongrass uh, just for uh, cooking a chicken Parfois, on, which was on not necessary on dit que utilise toute une and de probably that's pour what you poulet, and everybody uh, sees uh, some p everyone trusted and had the confidence in the party they blindly followed the party, the party without uh, les du making party, any uh, consideration so in that sense uh, they believed that uh, by the time they returned to the dining hall the food would be cooked the rice would be cooked and the chicken would be cooked la nourriture serait prête le riz serait cuit le poulet serait cuit And that they believed the party would allow them to rest a little bit after the lunch. But uh, in the end, uh, maybe because of the true confidence final, without uh, considering uh, the facts that led to the demise of the party. On a peut-être eu trop confiance de le parti.
and people flooded to join the, the, the party in 1970. They simply followed the lines. And only the few people at the top of the party uh, were intellectuals. President, uh, thank you, uh, the council le and the witness. Merci, we take a break merci, now and témoin. resume at uh, 3 o'clock. And uh, court officer, please assist the Puis witness in the waiting room for witnesses and civil parties and have him return together with the judge council at 3 o'clock. The court is now in recess.